going on guys? Thanks for coming back for another Moto Vlog. So it's official guys, today is the last day of the 2017 riding season. Believe it or not, it is December 3rd today in Rapid City, South Dakota, and it is 65 degrees outside. Unbelievable. I honestly I cannot remember a time in, I guess, my whole life that it's been that warm in December. Um, I, it's just crazy. If it was any other year, there'd probably be a couple inches of snow on the ground, you know, the roads would be icy, and there'd probably be a couple feet of snow actually in the hills. So the weather this year has just been unbelievably warm. And since winter is finally upon us, I think next week it's supposed to be down to the 20s with a chance of snow, so we got that going for us. But since winter is upon us, I thought I'd come out and uh, do a video for you guys about winterizing your motorcycle. Winterizing your motorcycle is a pretty important thing to do, especially if you live in a place like I do, you know, that might see four to five months of temperatures below freezing and, you know, your engine's just sitting there, not running. And something to keep in mind about engines is they're not really meant to, you know, not run for four to five months. Um, in that time, it can give parts a chance to, you know, maybe corrode from moisture in the air. Um, it can give parts a chance to, you know, break down with the colder temperatures, you know, expanding and contracting and everything like that. So it is important to take the necessary steps and winterize your motorcycle properly. That'll just keep it, you know, running for the longest amount of time, get the most miles out of it. So what I want to do is break it down into six main steps in order to winterize your motorcycle. And the first step I want to go over, I kind of have a personal uh, connection to. Um, the first step to do in order to winterize your motorcycle is fill your gas tank full of gas and put fuel stabilizer in it. And I want to go off on a little tangent related to that. When I bought this motorcycle, um, I made the mistake of not checking the gas tank uh, before I bought it. Definitely uh, do that, guys, if you're looking to buy a motorcycle. But anyways, what I believe what happened was the previous owner, uh, before the winter, he did not, you know, fill the gas tank up full with gas. I'm sure he just had a little bit of gas in it. Anyways, what happened was when I bought the bike and opened up the gas tank to fill it up with gas, there was a bunch of surface rust all over the gas tank. Made for a huge project, had to take the whole gas tank off, um, scrape it out with, you know, uh, bolts and everything like that, shake them around in there, get all the rust out, and then I had to coat it with a special gas tank liner. It's a huge headache and uh, it can all be prevented by just filling your gas tank full with gas and uh, putting some fuel stabilizer in your fuel before the winter. The second thing to do in order to winterize your motorcycle is disconnect your battery and bring it inside to you know a warm, dry place and uh, trickle charge it every week or so. Oh, dude, Grom, buddy, what's up? Actually, what the heck? Ah, I get that wrong every time. That was not a Grom. That was, I think, an FC09. I'm sorry to all the FC09 owners. I love that bike. It just looks small from far away. It's kind of weird. Number three. Number three is to change all your fluids. I just changed the coolant on this bike, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, but it's a good idea to change your engine oil, and I will do that in the next coming weeks or probably in January. Um, but new oil just kind of protects all your engine parts a little bit better than, you know, used oil, obviously. And the fourth thing you want to do is give your bike a good cleaning. It may sound kind of dumb, but uh, if you hit a lot of bugs, like I do on the Daytona, uh, they actually can have a pretty uh, negative effect on the quality of your paint. And not to go into too much depth here, but uh, bugs are actually really acidic. When you hit a bug, uh, all the bug juices and stuff, they actually can eat through your paint uh, over time if you just leave it on there for months on end. Um, they're just acidic, it'll eat through your clear coat and just damage your paint on your motorcycle. Oh man, that is cool. That was pretty cool. It was like red and white. I wonder, I don't know what it was, maybe Ducati or something with the sidecar, but pretty awesome. And number five. The fifth thing you want to do is lubricate your chain and your front suspension. By lubricating your chain, you're just protecting it from the elements, basically. Um, you know, the oil and wax or whatever you use in your chain lube um, protects it from, you know, the moisture in the air, and that'll protect it from rusting. 
and it's also a good idea to just take a drop of oil on your finger and spread it around your front fork seals. Um, you'll have one on each fork. It's that little rubber boot, and that oil will just help that rubber seal from drying out over time, um, and that'll just make your fork seals last longer. And the sixth and final thing you're gonna to wanna to do to winterize your motorcycle is either put your bike up on stands, like I will over the winter, or you can uh, put like a piece of wood under each of your tires. The best thing to do is obviously put your bike on stands, and what that does is it protects your tires from um, the moisture from the ground, and it also protects your tires from getting flat spots, from just sitting in one spot um, over a long period of time. But if you don't have stands, the next best thing to do is obviously just put a piece of wood or something under your tire. That'll protect it from the moisture, and I guess it is a little bit softer material, so you won't, I guess, flat spot your tires as badly if they were just resting on concrete or something like that. And I have one final thing to say, and it's not really a thing to do, it's just a piece of advice, and that is do not start your motorcycle just over the winter, you know, for fun or to hear it warm up. That actually can be bad for it because those warmer temperatures in the colder environment will form condensation, and, um, you know, water inside your engine is never a good thing. So that is going to be the end of the video and the 2017 Daytona riding session. Hoping to have some videos up shortly on the quad. If you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below. It does help a lot. Um, I will see you guys next Saturday for another video.